Hey guys, so we'll show you guys how to create uh, the Sims 4 characters. So for the beginners, we have the menu section on the top right. You can choose to save the game, quit the game, uh, and do a lot of more things. So you also have the gallery. Uh, you can share your creations if you're playing online. Uh, as for me, I'm playing uh, the game from my desktop, so that won't be of any use. So you have the home, the community, uh, my library, you can choose uh, from this tab so you can tell I'm playing offline so this is the library the community So click on the play button and this is how you can get started to create your sim uh, they give you a default character you can uh, do a lot of things here we'll go for it throughout this video So I'll be showing you how to create like a male character here. Uh, we have a lot of options to choose from. You can choose a uh, different size, different age categories, and uh, yeah. And these cursors are used to turn the sim around, so you can uh, see the body structure and things that you want to change. As you can tell on the top left corner, you have different morphologies for different age groups. You can easily choose what body type you want for the same character that you're creating. I'm creating a young adult, so this is what I'll be choosing. It is pretty easy to, to create the same character. Uh, you have a lot of things you can choose from, like the walk style. So you can have like a porky, a snowy, a normal one, a swagger, feminine. Goofy, <laughs> sluggish, bouncy. Hey. It just depends what you want for your yes. sim. So this is for your voice selection, you can have a clear, a warm, or a brush one, it just depends what tone and pitch you want to use for your set. If you want to create a female character, then you can choose from the top left corner. Now I'm going to name my sim, so the first name is Ben and the last name will be Smee. You cannot change the sim's name uh, uh, later in the game, 
so if you have to make any changes you have to make it now while you're creating the sim so you see those little hexagons these are aspirations and traits that you would want to choose for your sim you have a lot of things you can choose from uh, the little Bow dice lane. on the bottom Oh, all the sims that they give you, you can just randomly choose one from you here. If you don't have the time or you don't want to create your own sim, you can just choose a random character, which is fine. But I will show you guys throughout this video how to create one of my own. So here on the big hexagon, you have different aspirations to choose from. You can choose athletic. You get bonus traits for each of these. Creativity. Divines. Fortune. Food. Family. You have a lot of subcategories as well to choose from. So knowledge, love, nature, and popularity. If you click on these, you'll see you have like different things that you can choose from. Uh, these are subcategories. For example, if you click on creativity, you get painter extraordinaire, musical genius, and best-selling author. So for each one of these, you can choose specific aspirations. So for this one, I'll choose family, just as me family gaming, and I'll choose the big happy family as the Sims aspiration. You can choose a different aspiration for every character that you will have in one family or in one household if you want. And then I'll choose the traits. So you have a lot of things that you can choose from a game. You have uh, those active, cheerful, creative, genius, gloomy, goofball, hot-headed, romantic, self-assured. You have the hobby, you have the lifestyle, and you have the social. You don't have to choose uh, the three traits in one category, but you can. You do not necessarily have to choose all positive traits for your sim. It just depends what kind of story you want to have for this game or for this family when you're playing. So you can choose from anything, the positive traits or the negative traits. So for this sim, I'll choose the family oriented as well. So once you have already selected the traits, you can uh, choose the physical features, the body morphology, and uh, 
the type of body you want for your sim. It's pretty easy. So you can easily, with your cursor, just click on the part of the body that you want to extend or to decrease, depending on how uh, you want the body structure to be, if you want the sim to be slimmer or a little bit more slender. So you can just click on the body part and uh, drag on the side and this will make your sim a little bit slimmer or a little bit chubbier. Uh, for the muscular part, I'll show you later how to get to that part or how to choose uh, how muscular or how fattier you want your, your sim to be. So here I'm choosing to make the sim a little more slender, not exactly slim. So I'm stretching their shoulders and uh, you can move the sim on the side using the cursor on the bottom or you can just click on the sim and then rotate and uh, you can easily choose which part you want to extend or which part you want to manipulate. You see the difference, right? With the shoulders, I'm making a broader shoulder. You can choose for the hips. For the thighs. So it's pretty easy to change the settings. You can just click on the sim and uh, you see on the left, you can choose how muscular you want the sim to be. This is what I was talking about earlier on. And uh, the second tab is to make the sim fat or less, less fat. It just depends what you want with the sim. You have a range of things you can choose from. You can choose the body type, uh. the skin tone, and different things. You have the option of uh, making the sim's body more shaped here. You have a better idea. You can choose uh -huh. how muscular you want it to be. and. Uh, yeah, different things to play with. As for me, I will get back to how I want the body structure to be and uh, how muscular or how slim I want uh, my sim to be later on. Uh, we'll get a better idea when we'll choose from the clothing because trust me, once you put the clothing on your sim, you'll get to know how the body shape is exactly. It is a usually stay or look the way it is. So you can also choose the skin tone from here. Uh, I will select like a golden brown skin tone for my same character, which is my ethnicity too. From this tab, you can also choose the face shape of your sim. You can just play around and uh, choose any given face shape from this list or you can even click on the sims face to modify it i'll show you later in the video how we modify the sims face you are able to modify every little structure of the sim so here you go You can modify the cheek, 
you just zoom in on your sim and uh, you click on the different parts of the face that you want to modify uh, like the lips just click on it and move it around play with it you can do for the eyes for the nose if you want a slimmer nose if you want a shorter nose bridge if you want your cheekbone to be a little more rounder or you want it to come out a little bit more you can play around with the jaw with the chin pretty much every part of the face I can't exactly find uh, the desired face shape that I'm looking for in this list so I'm just gonna look up for something randomly and uh, from there I will modify the different parts of the face um, it's kind of hard to find a specific face structure or with the exact features I suggest that you just play around if you want like to create uh, a sim character that looks just like you but that's just a sim so you can definitely just so just choose from this list Honestly, these guys have like a generous amount of uh, faces that you can choose from, but uh, to match my sim that I'm making for the male Smee character, uh, I'll choose this one and I'll modify the cheeks. Uh, you can choose from, if you click on the cheek, you have like a list on the right side here. Uh, and you can choose from this list and uh, see what matches you the most but uh, I I honestly just prefer clicking on the cheek and uh, dragging to see like how round I want the cheek to be or if I want like a longer jaw the eyes you can have different types of eye things options here to choose from you can even choose a lot of different eye colors so I think there's a generous amount of choices you have here for instance I'm clicking on the eyebrows so I can choose what eyebrow style I want for the sim. Um, if I want a bushier eyebrow or a thinner one, it just depends what fits your sim. And uh, even for your eyebrows, you can choose different hair color. So. I don't want anything too fancy for the sim. So if you're satisfied with the eyebrows, you can move on to the ears. Uh, for my sim, I want something narrow, like a narrow ear or an attached lobe. So not such of a big, large ear just to match with this sim and uh, I think I'm I'm not uh, too happy with the nose so I'll change it and uh, for the mouth as well it's pretty hard it doesn't exactly match the pictures here 
So you have to play around and uh, if you really don't like it, just uh, do, like I said, click on the mouth and then expand it or reduce the size. Uh, you can just play around with uh, the upper lip and the lower lip. <laughs> I know it sounds funny, but uh, no. Uh, we're just talking about the lip of the Sims character here. So just like this, you click on the lip and uh, you can extend it on the side or up and down, uh, how sharp you want it to be, uh, how thick, it just depends. Uh, you can play around with the chin, I'll pull it out or pull it in, uh, reduce the jaw if you want a square jaw or you want a rounder one, uh, play around with the ear again. You'll get a better picture as you play and uh, as you modify the features, you'll have a better idea what you want your sim to look like. Now we can move on to uh, the skin details. If you want some frowns, you want like a beauty spot, freckles and uh, different types of uh, things that you want your sim to have, uh, you can choose from this list. Um, I don't think any of this would fit my sim because uh, I'm making a specific character. And uh, yeah, you can just play around with the lines and uh, then you can choose the hairstyle. You have like a short, uh, medium and a long hairstyle. Uh, you can choose from this list. My sim will have a short hairstyle. Oh, hold on. Uh, we have to take off uh, the hat as well. And yeah, here we go. So this is how uh, my sim will look like. I want a very clear uh, hairstyle for the sim. And you can choose the hair color as well, uh, just like you did for the eyes and the brows. So you have the everyday outfit, you can choose from the formal, the athletic, the sleepwear and the party, uh, whichever uh, outfit you will choose will stay with the sim throughout the game. You can choose uh, different uh, clothing for your sim later in the game, but uh, most likely they will stick with this uh, clothing and uh, and style for quite a long time if you want your sim to have like any facial hair like a beard or a mustache you can choose uh, here and this section and uh, yeah you have a lot of options especially for the men uh, You can choose just a moustache or just a beard depending on what you want and uh, like you can see I'm choosing for the everyday look so I'm not sure I'm not making for the formal and the athletic or the sleepwear or the party yet uh, we'll do one by one so I'm choosing all um, all the things that I want my sim to have on an everyday basis so how my sim will look on an everyday basis uh, the glasses and uh, the look 
the clothing, the shoes, you can choose everything for the everyday uh, style or outfit and then you can uh, go on with the same procedures and uh, choose for the formal and for the athletic one by one. It's really fun to, to play along. So you can choose uh, to get your sim to have glasses or sunglasses, uh, jewelry, uh, like uh, earrings or a watch. You can have all of these from this list. Um, you can also try to uh, choose a hat or any types of accessories that you want. But uh, like I said, uh, you can choose these accessories uh, for the formal wear or the athletic as well. And you don't have to save, just keep in mind that you don't have to save for every category uh, of style or clothing or uh, outfit that you are choosing for your sim. It just saves automatically um, and uh, you can just move on with... Um, I don't want any makeup. You can you can put on some makeup on on your sim, but uh, I don't think it's very necessary in in this case. Yeah. So if you're happy with that, you can uh, go on and start choosing the clothing. Uh, no, that's the formal clothing. So. I'll go on for the everyday here and uh, I'll remove the jacket because I want to start from scratch and uh, I don't really like the one that they pre-chose for me. So again here you have a lot of uh, things you can choose from like uh, you can go on the sweaters, the tanks, the t-shirts, the polos or the vest or you can choose the style looks so they give you some of their uh, styles that they pre-make and you can just uh, choose whatever you need here. Um, I closed the everyday because uh, yeah, we'll I think it's up. not, they don't give you that many options to choose from the everyday uh -huh. style looks. So um, we'll see. Uh, I'll probably uh -huh. choose one of these uh, style looks and uh, it might not be the perfect fit for uh, an everyday wear but uh, yeah I think they have such a simple variation of style looks for the young male adults yeah this is not too bad but I think this is more of a party way or a formal semi-casual kind of look uh, uh -huh. let's try this one uh -huh. yeah this is the kind of look that I'll, I'll prefer for my uh -huh. sim to go on an everyday basis so uh, you can choose different kind uh -huh. of colors uh, keep in mind that you have a lot of colors for for these uh, style looks you can just go on the shirts and uh, uh, choose from the categories and uh, you have a lot of things styles you can choose from here so you don't have to keep the top and the bottom together you can play around with it and uh, uh, I'll show you you can just choose anything from list you can even have a, like a dress shirt if you prefer having a dress shirt with this uh, pad or this look if you want to keep the top or you want to keep the bottom or you want to keep just the shoes you can just do that and uh, just like here I just clicked on a random I don't necessarily I don't really like these ones I'm just showing you guys what uh, you could be switching and moving around 
gorgeous to play with and then here i'm clicking on the polo shirt you can uh, have a variety like a range of colors and designs and patterns that you can have for one specific polo shirt so for each of these uh clothing or items here you can choose like different patterns and different colors uh different styles and uh yeah, just play around with it and uh, I'm pretty sure yeah, that you'll find something to fit your sim. So like I said earlier, uh, you might want to change the body structure and the size of your sim later when you start putting the clothes uh, the clothes on on the sim you might see that uh, this is not how you wanted your sim to to look or uh, it looks very different to how it it was looking in the beginning so even now you can still play around and uh, make it more slim or more uh, slender more fat it just depends on what you want for you for the sim but uh, you will keep changing throughout uh, this procedure. You might uh, see that your sim looks better uh, with certain types of clothes and uh, and looks uh, quite odd with uh, the one that you begin with. But uh, do remember that uh, we're just choosing for the everyday look, so you still have to choose a different outfit for the formal the, and the other categories as well so you don't want anything too fancy you don't want like anything like this i mean like um unless you you wear like dress shirts and uh, uh formal pants in the house oh, then the then sure <laughs> but yeah you want something more casual uh, for your everyday look and uh, you might get bored if you choose something uh, formal all the time because uh, your sim will obviously go to like parties and uh, you can have weddings and things like that so you want to have a different style uh, for every type of occasions So here from the tops you can select different colors, uh, they will switch the colors of uh, the shirts. I like the pants so I'm gonna keep that and uh, you can choose to uh, get your sim uh, like a watch for his everyday look and uh, oh I, I decreased the size of my sim here so I think I did that for the arm so I'm gonna Fix that first. So yeah, uh, you can just click on the arm, and uh, I'll just do this undo. So yeah, you you can do undo or redo on the bottom here instead of just going around and doing the whole thing uh, you choose the watch and you can choose the color of the watch and uh, you have a lot of things to choose from you have the rings socks uh, yeah uh, gloves but I don't think gloves is available for uh, the meals 
here you can choose the ring and the color I want like a golden thing so yeah like I said there's socks uh, there's longer ones and stockings and uh -huh. shorter socks you have the different kind of shoes uh, you can choose from slippers and uh, formal shoes or sneakers yeah boots uh, I'll keep the shoes like this for now and uh, yeah you have different things uh, I think I removed the glasses for my sim by mistake maybe so I'll just put it back uh, can choose different types of glasses and a range of colors for the glasses as well um, I don't want any sunglasses for his everyday look so I'll keep it very simple and uh, light so you can just rotate to using the cursor or like I said uh, by clicking on the sim and uh, take a look at how your sim will be looking uh, on an everyday basis and uh, if you want to make any changes you can but I'll just move on to the formal now and uh, we'll see uh, the different kind of things that they have for the formal occasions so what kind of outfits you want you can just do like a suit or a dress shirt with a tie or a bow uh, or just choose from that uh, style look like I said earlier they just pre-choose it for you um, they don't have much for the formal but uh, trust me if you if you have time and uh, you want to go through the whole list you might find something more suitable for your sim for the formal occasion so just don't rely on what they provide uh, or pre-choose for you so uh, you can uh, definitely choose different kind of colors for the suits and uh, yeah but I don't really like uh, the stars that they give here it's not exactly like a bodysuit if you if you know what I mean so um, yeah like they have cool colors to choose from though uh, even for the pants uh, different styles and uh, I like to to do like a contrast for the colors I don't uh, really like to match uh, the pants and the, the top uh, so it just depends on what you want but uh, I will always do like a contrast for my sims yeah so if you play along you see you can even find uh, the matching pants for this uh, suit but uh, I don't think I'm gonna keep that or go with that or anything we'll see how it goes I might a random thing. I, I don't really like the bow uh, and so it looks kind of funny. Well, to me at least. Uh, yeah, and there are different, different types of shoes and uh, like the formal shoes you can choose from. This is the last thing that I like to choose. Uh, I prefer looking at the, the outfit first and then we'll see. Huh. There's not many colors for this type of shoes so uh, that decreases my chances of getting something like an outfit to match with the shoes so we'll go with uh, the shoes first. Uh, I mean the, the outfit first. It's more of a slim kind of thing. Hmm. Uh, no, I don't think I, uh, I, I don't want anything uh, mainstream for my sim, so I'm not going with uh, a basic kind of 
Uh, so this is not too bad. Like the dress shirt and uh, the tie is not too bad. But I mean, this is pretty basic for me. Uh, and uh, I think I'll just go with the style. There's not a range of colors. See, like there's there's quite a lot of. Uh, of suits or formal wear but uh, not many colors in specific styles it's kind of hard to choose but uh, i think i'll go with this this is not too bad uh, let's see if i can find like a pant or something to to fit with this and to see I know it's taking me quite uh, some time uh, to to make the sim but I'm going through all of the steps and I'm showing you guys how I uh, I do and create and design my sim uh, so Ben's me is taking me about like 40 minutes already uh, but I like to take all the time to create and uh, edit the sim because I know I cannot come back to this uh, later on so uh, it's good if you take all your time if you want a, a pretty good sim good looking at least to play with like I said earlier, uh, you can choose different accessories for uh, different occasions. So I chose like a regular uh, pair of glasses for Ben uh, for the everyday wear. But uh, for the formal attire, I prefer getting him like a pair of sunglasses, which is more fancy and uh, appropriate for the occasion. So now we'll move on to the athletic. Um, you have a range of things to choose from again, like shirts, hoodies, jackets, uh, tracksuits, shorts, um, yeah, long sleeves or short sleeves. Um, again, for the style looks that they pre choose for you, you don't have like a lot of varieties for um, the male sim, so. I mean, even for the female sim, like you'll you'll see uh, in my next video when I do the female character, you'll see. Like, there's not a lot of choices for the, the fitwear. So, but you have enough to to choose from. So I'll just pick something from, from this, like one of the colors, maybe the burgundies. Yeah, the burgundy. Uh, Happy Durfna with Nay. Yeah. Ooh. Shannon Borp. You can also choose like your athletic shoes and uh, see what matches your athletic shoes uh, and uh, your outfit. Uh, for now, I'll just look for the glasses I want my sim to wear uh, for jogging and stuff. So, yeah, something very simple. Huh. Um, and 
then I can choose the sleepwear the style the you can just go on that uh, nothing very fancy because uh, you, yeah. you cannot see your sim uh, and they are uh, sleepwear a lot unless they they will stay at home uh -huh. and uh, as they wake up they might uh, walk Sleep. around the house in their sleepwear oh, so uh, I'll just choose probably a robe oh. kind of thing oh, and uh, I'll choose some uh, fancy, see, yeah. funny little rabbit kind of, of slippers or something. Yeah. Uh, I don't want socks. I don't think uh, Ben needs these socks for the sleepwear. I'll keep this. <laughs> this looks pretty funny. So here I removed uh, the socks, as you can see, and uh, I think this is a pretty decent yet cute outfit for his sleepwear. Uh, now we'll go on to the party outfit. Uh, the, the party attire does not have to be a very formal attire. so. Uh, no, definitely not the robes. Uh, let's just go on the style looks and see what they offer. Uh, they might have something out there. Uh, no. So as you can tell, uh, I gave Ben uh, the po one of the party attires uh, for his everyday look. But uh, it looks very casual and very decent to me. So. Uh, I'll stick with that and uh, let's look for something. Uh, I like this one. I think I'll, I might just keep that shirt or. So you can choose like a variety of colors and uh, designs. Uh, I like this full up sleeve, but they don't have many colors uh, in this style, so I'll probably just go with this one, which looks like a kind of semi casual thing. So, um, yeah. We're almost done, guys, so. Just bear with me and uh, I'll show you guys how this ah. ends up. You can choose like regular pants, jeans and stuff. I don't really like those pants. It looks more like a formal kind of pants for me. So I'll probably just do uh, denim jeans for this look and uh, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, this, this looks much better. I'll just go with those denim, probably, or... Actually, this looks good too, so I might as well just go with this. Um, I don't think uh, socks will go with this, so I'll have to take off the socks and uh, we'll keep the pants for now. And uh, let's see. Let's remove the socks. Yeah, that looks much better. And uh, we can just change the shoes. I don't really like the shoes with this one, but uh, something not too mainstream and not too matching either. Ooh. Uh, The kind of brown tone, it goes well with the tops. Kind of grey, off grey, black. Uh, this 
looks pretty good. It's kind of contrast, like I said. So here we go. We are done with them. Just some touch up with the accessories and uh, probably uh, his glasses. And uh, I think we'll, we're good. We're all good to go. And uh, if you want to add more character to you, um, to this family, to the Smith family, uh, you can always just uh, go on the bottom left corner and uh, you see the plus sign you can just click on that and add uh, another sim to this family uh, you can also choose the relationship between the sims uh, just uh, uh, just remember that you cannot come back to this sim once you save it because uh, the Smee family will have only one member, which is Ben, if I save this game here. So I will not. I will uh, definitely add more character to this family. Uh, please watch our next video if you want to, to know how we designed and created our female character for the Smee family. And uh, that would be myself. So please uh, subscribe to our channel if you like our video so you can easily navigate on different sections like the sleepwear and everything uh, even, even though you have not saved the game yet but you do have to save it before playing so you just click on the little uh, check mark on uh, the bottom uh, right to start the game. Uh, but uh, that should be all guys thank you for watching and uh, I hope you guys like this video please like share and subscribe if you have any questions just drop your questions in the comment section below and I will make sure to answer that thank you guys have a great one